How are you? Okay. How's it going? How are you? Hey, you all right? Right, so how's it going, right? How you doing, man? God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you. How you doing? How are you? All right. All right, man. Get my wagon, man. This is the president of the business association. Lucian Blackwell was a man who everybody loved. People come up to me 16 years after he passed and say, I'm sorry to hear about your husband. One of the phrases was, Lucian has a solution. Uh, he started out on the Philadelphia waterfront. He was a longshoreman. He hired many people from our neighborhoods. It doesn't matter what the field, whether it be homeless people, that's where I got my love for it, whether it be people who lived on the street. He was a person who, uh, if he saw you on the street, he went in his pocket and handed you it could be anything. It might be a hundred dollar bill and he would say God told him to do it. You have to, you have to in the rush, man. Now say thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Say thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he was just a person who loved people. He loved his family. He loved his community and there was nothing he would not do to show that he wanted the best for you and that he wanted your life and that of your family to be as good as it could be. And he was, he was just a wonderful person. Everybody felt they related to him. It didn't matter whether you thought you were a millionaire or whether you slept on the streets. He treated all people the same and they all loved him. He was a wonderful person. He ended up going to the State House of Representatives then uh, when the city council seat opened, he quit and ran for this because the, his predecessor became a judge. And then uh, when the congressional seat opened, uh, he quit this and I assumed this role and uh, he went to the U.S. Congress. But for his whole life, it was always about people, about public service. And he just handed it all to me. I love it. I have the same mission. We love people and we want the best for them. They, they respect me and I respect them. And I, and, I, I, and I love to talk to people. I love to look into their eyes and see what, see what there's a message there. He always said that he stood for uh, people being treated fairly, all of them, whether it be uh, when it came to jobs, to inclusion, when it came for human rights, when it came for housing, when it came to all aspects of life, he believed that all people should be treated fairly and that all people should be treated equitably and fairly and alike. And he fought for that his whole life and he was never afraid to go any place and to say that, to stand up for that and to defend anyone no matter where they were or what the circumstances were. I'm a, I'm a servant of the Lord, I'm not just a politician. I believe in God. And they tell me, uh, well, well you, you care too much about poor people. You're darn right I do. You're darn right I do. I'm not going to apologize for it either. I care about people walking the streets hungry. So I care about people sleeping in subways. But for the grace of God, I'd be right there because I come from poor neighborhood. I was on, my mother and father was on welfare once. You know, I wore welfare pants. And had people holler down, welfare pants, welfare pants, you know. And I know how it feels for kids not to, not to have the things that they want. Even though I come from, I had a good family, good mother and father, a little small corner store. As we grew up, I got one when I was about 14. My father went into a grocery business and we stayed in about 30, about 30 years. But before that, people, people, people forget we, we were just ordinary people. Father sick, father ex coal miner, sick, you know, had sick and unable to work with a good man, good strong personality. When you see Lucian Blackwell speaking, I'm imitating my father. So I stole all my father's lines, you know. Lucian Blackwell started the set aside program, minorities getting their share. Uh, Lucian Blackwell started that. Lucian Blackwell also. Uh, introduced and started a human rights bill. So here, when people were not to discriminate against people, no matter what your uh, gender or race or, or Lucian Blackwell started that. He was just a person who saw a problem and said, I'm going to do something to stop it. 
He started the city formally funding uh, fighting gang war back in those days. He said, uh, give you something to do, something to love, and something to look forward to. So uh, across the board, when you deal with the big issues that affected our city, him starting homelessness as a department being funded, as we said, set asides, inclusion, when it came to the big issues that affected us during those times, uh, when you look closely, you'll see that Lucian Blackwell was at the heart of them. Hey man, hey, how y'all doing? Okay, okay, fine. Lucian Blackwell's legacy is that public service is important. People know that if you look back at Lucian Blackwell, you know he cared for people. You know that he cared for the least of these. You know that he fought for the everyday man in the street and that he saw that as his mission and that he wanted people to have a chance at a decent life, a chance at a decent job. When you look back at Lucian Blackwell, people will tell you, yes, I knew him. Yes, my family knew him. Yes, our families grew up together because his family had a grocery store. Yes, Lucian Blackwell cared. Lucian Blackwell helped me this way, that way. People still tell me as recently as this weekend when we had an affair called Getting Your House in Order, people came to me, do you know Lucian Blackwell helped me get my home? And do you know Lucian Blackwell helped me in this way and that way? Even now, people still thank me for all those things he did to try to make their daily, everyday lives better.